Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. And to the speckled bird Israelites that are scattered abroad that looked like the heathen nations. To y'all say Shalom. Shalom to all your brothers and sisters that may be listening and learning. And shalom to all you brothers and all you Akim that's out there on the highways and byways pushing this word. It's 100% true. That the Lord put on our spirit, put on the, yeah, put on our spirit and the elders and apostles of the great millstones to bring out, you know, uh, paving the way for our Lord Yahweh Shai to return, which Yahweh Shai is the name of the Lord who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Um, I also want to say this truth is for the elected, our people, the, the uh, chosen, and not all of our people are chosen. You know, there's only going to be a certain number of our people that be saved, which there's like, so who you call it, a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, Guatemalans, the Panamanians. They are the Israelites. They, those are the Lord's chosen people. But like I said, you know, two-thirds of our people will be destroyed. Um, but I'm coming back at you with another video because I'm, I want to go kind of, I'm not going to go deep into it, but I'm just showing y'all the name of this new um, variant that they, you know, basically said is out now because, you know, these devils are really about to lock this thing down. And, you know, by the way, you know, uh, happy day of atonement, you know, today where you fast, you know, dry fast, you don't eat or drink any day for 24 hours. So, you know, we are in that day. You know, we rehearsing the righteous sex, you know, some brothers, you know, got to work, you know, I'm one of those brothers, but hey, I'm still... Still in this thing, man. You know, I'm trying to show my faith to the Lord. I want the Lord to forgive me of my sins, you know. Because um, I know I, I know I need it, you know. I know I need it. I'm not worthy of nothing, you know. Um, but anyways, as y'all can see, I got to put up on the screen that new variant that E is uh, claiming, you know, is out. It's called Iris or Iris, however you say it. It says it's uh, one of the two latest sub-variants. You know of the a hey, the the C one, you know that happened in twenty twenty, you know so it really, it really never ended, you know it just died down but it really it continued going on, you know but they died down you know as far as talking about it on the news and blasting it everywhere every day because people are starting to find out that stuff ain't making sense stuff ain't add up you know, and then they kept switching you know. What they wanted people to do, they wanted you to wear masks. Then they want, then they said you don't gotta wear it. Then they was telling you that, you know, we're gonna come out with these, you know, they, these uh jabs. And then once they came out with them, they were saying that, you know, it was they, everybody's gonna have to get them. Then they were saying that, you know, uh, they're they're safe and effective. Then they were saying they're not as safe and as effective. Like they kept changing, you know, double minded. You know, what are you going you know, what are you gonna do? Make up your mind. You know, and the average person was starting to find this stuff out. So I think that's really the real reason why they, you know, they, they so-called earlier this year, they so-called, uh, I think they, uh, they like declared it not a national emergency or something like that. It, it was something like that. It was like in May or something. They were saying that, the yeah, the national emergency for that is over or something. But then, look, they about to lock things back down again, you know, going into the, the, the winter time, fall winter time, you know, but. This variant that they said that's, you know, that's uh, going around right now, and that's about to, you know, basically cause for another lockdown, it basically is the name of a, it's the name of a Greek god. I don't know if it says that. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's the name of a Greek goddess, which is basically, uh, it's the goddess of strife and discord. Now, you know, this is why I want to, you know, basically uh, get the scripture as far as, the Lord controls good and evil, man. The Lord controls this man, E, you know, and his moves, his, his actions, you know. And, you know, this this kingdom is, the you know, it's going to be divided. It's meant to be divided, you know. We're in that time, you know. And this kingdom has to fall because, you know, a lot of Israelites are waking up, you know. And once the elect, all the elect wakes up, chaos is going to happen. It's inevitable. It ain't going to, you know, delay, you know. Cause that's all the Lord needs is his elect. He ain't worried about all of our people right now, you know. But once all elect is sealed, that's when hey everything's gonna come down all at once. But this is Isaiah forty-five and verse seven. It says, "I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things." You see, so the Lord is controlling good and evil, you know. And this man, you know, he's he's not. He didn't name this uh, 
this variant of the C1, you know, by accident errors. He didn't do that on accident. And there are some other variants I remember that they came out with. I think one of them was called Omicron. Another one was called Delta. And these are all different names of uh, Greek entities or Greek, you know, idols that they worship. That's how you know that this is, you know, Greece 2.0 or Rome, Rome 2.0, you know. And that's how you know there's nothing new under the sun, you know. Everything that was back here, you know, in the past is back here today. The same spirits, the same idols, the same entities. Now, they might do it in, you know, a little different ways, but it's all going towards the same thing as far as them worshiping it, you know. But the general public just doesn't know because they don't, they don't do research. They don't know, you know. But I want to get this in the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 9. It says, the thing that have been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. You see that? There is no new thing under the sun. So, you know, this name, heiress of this new variant they got coming out, you know, uh, that's going to be the cause for them locking everything back down. It, you know, it just it basically means that, you know, they're going to cause strife and discord. But it's the Lord, because the Lord, you know, said, you know, that he didn't come to send peace on earth. I'm going to get that. Luke 12 and 51, right? It says, uh, yep, it says, Luke 12 and 51, it says, suppose ye that I have come to give peace on earth. You see, that's the question. It says, I tell you nay, but rather division. You see, so strife and discord. The Lord is causing strife and discord between people because nobody is serving him on the earth, you know. And the wicked wasn't made to serve him, you know. The wicked is Esau, Edom. They're the, they're the nation that's specifically called the wicked. You know, you got wicked Israelites, and you got wicked people of the other nations, which all the other nations are technically wicked, but there's a specific nation that's specifically labeled the wicked, and they will, that's the Edomites, who the earth has been given unto. You see? And they're causing strife and discord, but it's really the Lord making them do that, because the Lord is not dealing with this place, man. When the Lord comes back, you know, our Lord, you have a shot, returns, cracks the sky with those uh, so-called UFOs, what Esau calls them. Which they're the, those are the angels of the Lord, they're not aliens. You know, we got to keep, you know, reemphasizing that because hey, that's what Esau is going to throw out there. That's what the general public is going to believe because they believe what Esau says. But um, when, when the Lord cracks the sky, man, you know, World War III is happening. Those lasers are getting, you know, shot from the chariots and the, the electric is getting beamed up and this America is getting destroyed. Hey, man, you know, once the Lord set, sets up the kingdom... There ain't going to be no strife and discord going on on the earth. This prophecy, this prophecy and these words are for, for now. The Lord causing, you know, division on the earth, you know. That's what this is about. That's the spirit that Esau is in. So the, Esau is doing the Lord's will, you know. Because this, this, is, this is the Lord's words. This is, these are in red. It says strife and, uh, strife and discord, but really... The Lord is so, you know, so cold in his judgment, you know, the Lord can make you do something, you know, that he, he don't really like, but hey, it's, it's his will, but he's still going to judge you, <laughs> you know, because uh, the scriptures uh, speak on that. Let me see. It says, uh, since that's the name of the, uh, the variant heiress, and it's, it basically, basically stands for uh, strife and discord, you know, let me get this in the Proverbs. I think it's Proverbs 6 and 16, because the Lord hurts, the Lord hates certain characteristics that people have, and so in discord, and you know, you, you a person that, that likes strife, you like to argue, you like to cause problems, and that's Esau, every day, all day, you know, hey, the, the Lord, that the Lord's gonna, the Lord's gonna allow that chaos to happen, but hey, it's gonna get out of Esau's control, because a lot of these people, like I said, they were starting to wake up to you know the bs going on so i think a lot of people this time they're going to rebel so that's when esau is going to have to bring in that martial law he's going to have to bring bring out that uh there bring out that uh you know that motb he's going to have to and that's that's ultimately for the lord's will too because it's all leading up to his return you see how you see how cold the lord is man call hello yeah but this is uh proverbs is 6 and 16 it says uh let me see Yep, so this is the, these are the six things that he, that the Lord hates, man. 
you know, and this is the this is the thing that Esau trying to bring. That's why I said he didn't name that that uh, variant Iris for no reason. There's no, it's not a coincidence that he named it that, and it basically stands for strife and discord. You know, but these are the six things that the Lord hates. It says Proverbs six sixteen. It says these six things that the Lord hates. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and the heads that that heads that shed innocent blood. It says a heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. And feet that be swift running into mischief. It says, and false and a false witness that speak of lies, and he that sow of discord among brethren. You see that? So, you know, it says, uh, it says Aries is the Greek goddess of strife and discord. You see that? And th what does the Lord hate? The Lord hates somebody who sows discord. <laughs> see, the Lord knew what he was doing, man. You know, having Esau, you know, behave the way he is on the earth, man. That's nothing happening by accident, man. It's prophecy that chaos has to happen. It has to get so out of control to where the Lord can uh work for his elect, man. You know, not work like you know like the Lord has to work, but like you know perform miracles for you. Like that's what I mean. Because Esau's gonna get to the point to where you know, hey, like I said, he's gonna release his all his swords. He got all his little toys. You know these robots. You know, these super soldiers he got, you know, all his drones, his, you know, whatever he got. His uh, jets, bombs, you know, uh, what are them things? Oh, yeah, I already said drones. Everything, you know. It's all going to happen, you know. And we're not going to have no defense against this, man. That's why we need the Lord, you know. <clears throat> but um, I want to get this uh, Psalms 17, right? You know, because this is what we're praying for, man. You know, as, you know, as, uh, maybe, you know, Lord willing, we're a part of you. Like, this is what we're praying for. Because the Lord's going to allow this man to, to get down, you know, because this is the Lord's judgment, ultimately. Uh, Esau is the Lord's sword. You know, so Psalm 17 and verse 13, it says, Arise, O, o Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. Which is thy sword, you see? From men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of this world which have their portion in this life. So these are men that have everything they could ever dream of and want. They got everything. You see the mice, man. It says, In whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures, they are full of children. They leave their rest of their substance to their babies. You see, they, they, they pass down their inheritances, their riches, their wealth. That's where you get generational wealth from. But they they got this. We don't have we don't have this as being you know Israelites because we're under curses. You know the earth is isn't in our possession right now. It's in, it's in their possession. You know we're not going to be doing things like this, causing strife or discord and naming stuff after Greek gods. We're not going to do stuff like that, man. When we in our kingdom, our kingdom is going to be you know specifically ran and only ran by Yahweh Shemal Shot, nobody else, because that's the only true God. You know, the Lord, you know, exists. He's always existed, but, you know, in this current state of this world, he's not being promoted. He's not being, I don't want to say propagated, but he's not being pushed out there. Nobody's serving the Lord except the men out there on the highways and byways, which is a very few and small number, right? And I also wanted to get this in uh, Psalms, Psalm 64, right? Psalm 64. And verse 2, it says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. You see? So, this is a part of his counsel, too. You know? This is, you know, the Lord is working, working his work, you know, on, on his uh, left hand side because the Lord controls both sides, like I said earlier. You know? We want to be here from this, especially, you know, on the day of atonement, you know, you know, brothers and sisters is fasting, you know. And real, really, the atonement was, you know, really already made when you have a shine went over the cross. But in this present time, since we're under grace right now, you know, we still keep, you know, the laws and stuff like that. Even though we're not, you know, necessarily under the law. Like, we're not saved by the law, but we do have to keep the law to the best of our ability. You know, but we still got to show the Lord that, you know, that we, we, you know, we want to serve him. You know, because what is love? According to the scriptures, love is keeping his commandments. You know, you read that in the book of... uh. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's in the book of First John, five and three. If I'm not mistaken, 
Yep, it says, For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. You see, the Lord ain't asking you to do something super hard, hard, you know. Now, if it's your first day of atonement, you know, it might be kind of difficult or something like that. But, you know, as you ban this truth for a while, you know, you really should fast, you know. I don't see, I ain't going to say it's too often, but you should fast more than just once a year. That's not good. You know, you should be fasting, you know, more than that, you know. To get your body used to, especially the times that we coming in, you know, with there not, you know, not being enough food in the coming days because the famine's going to happen. You know, you got to get used to that, you know, start exercising more. I'm talking to myself first and foremost, you know, because um, I believe when, the, you know, the Lord allows Esau to bring this next lockdown, I believe that's going to be it. You know, they're going to bring the MOTB, you know, um, when I will see if it happens in October, you know, September, November, whatever. Whatever they stay throwing out there, we'll see. You know, it, it might happen next year or something. We'll see, though, you know. But I believe it's definitely going to happen, you know. But when it does happen, like I said, you know, best believe, hey, it's going it's gonna to get bad out there, man. That strife and discord is going to be out there. That spirit of, that uh, what did I say, the love of many wax and cold, it, it's out there, you know. It ain't going to turn it back. You know, it's only going to get worse. This is uh, 2 Edges 15 and verse 14, and I'll close out. Because this is this is going to happen. It's it's not it's not going to turn back. It says, Woe to the world and to them at the world they're in, for the sword and the destruction draw off nigh. You see, so hey, people's lives are about to be on the line, you know. People are about to rise up against the government. It says that one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands, for there should be sedition among men invading one another. You see that? Oh that's that's go, that's getting ready to happen here in America. You know, that's been happening to these other countries because these other people in these other countries, they're actually, you know, a little smarter. The people over here in America, people over here in America are, are kind of dumb. But, you know, nevertheless, it says, They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And I've been seeing a lot of people post stuff about this, you know, this this uh new variant because they're starting to wake up, you know, like I said. So I don't, I don't believe it's going to be as easy to pull something off. I believe they're going to actually have to Release something or activate something that these people took the first time. You know, you got know what I'm talking about the, the Kool Aid pack. They're gonna have to activate something that's gonna actually start, you know, killing people. You know, like way, way more. It's gonna be way more deadly than the the first, you know, C one that happened in 2020. And that's gonna that's gonna you know scare you know a lot of people in submission, but also people's gonna rise up too. It says they should not regard the kings nor princes. And of course, or their actions shall stand in their power. It says, and a man should desire to go into a city, it shall not be able. You see that? Strife for discord right there. You know, people are going to be trying to get past the troops. Hey, the troops is going to, it's going to be to the point to where if you can't get out your house, they're going to, if you get out your house, they're going to shoot you on, on, on sight. It's going to get that bad. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses should be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So, because of people's pride, because of people's, uh, I believe in Yahweh Shabbat, but the Lord's not dealing with the other nations anyway, or people are our own people, so it's just, it is what it is. You know, this is all the Lord's judgment. Whatever is getting ready to take place with these lockdowns, these 15 minute cities, FEMA camps, it's all in the will of the Lord, man. So, and this is what time we're in. We're not in a time of peace. The strife and discord is a complete opposite of peace. You know, it's a complete opposite, you know. You know, and all these articles on Newsbreakers talking about. That new uh variant, you know, that's out. All of them. So, you know, we'll see what comes up. But, you know, we know that the days uh, of trouble are at hand. But the Lord said, let me get the, let me end off with the scripture. The Lord said uh, he will uh, deliver us from the same, man, you know, as long as we believe in him, you know. Lord willing, he, he uh, delivers us, man. You know, or even if we got to die, you know, Lord willing, he gives us the strength to endure it, man, whatever it is, you know. The days are our trouble are at hand, but may he deliver us from the, from the same, man. So, uh, you know, I'm going to close out, man. You know, Lord willing, this video was edifying. You know, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakudash, the bonus of the elders, Apostle Great Millstone. Till next time, Wad Ababa Shalom.